in internal styles, we sink the chi to the dantian. When you sink the chi over time, you become full. Okay? You can liken this to blowing up a basketball. Yep. When it's full, you can't twist it. Right? When it's empty, you can twist it. So if you go, oh, and everything just twists so lovely and looks spiritual and it's twisty and nice, that's because you're empty of chi. Empty of chi. When you try to twist a blown up basketball, it doesn't twist. When you actually sink the chi to the dantian and achieve fullness, you don't, your body just doesn't do that anymore. It naturally maintains harmony. You just won't twist like that because it's full. Now if you did manage to twist like that, all the air would come out of the basketball. Right? If you want to empty your chi, do that. But if you can do that, it means you don't have any chi in the dantian to start with. So every time you do that, you lessen your chance at filling the dantian. Right? It goes both ways. Don't twist to give yourself a chance to fill. And when you do fill, don't twist because you just empty out. So when I'm teaching, sometimes I try to mimic the twisting, but I find it very, very difficult to twist. Body just won't twist. It's full. It's like trying to twist a full basketball. Okay, so mainly we've been talking now about how to mobilize the chi in the arm. Okay? Release song to mobilize the chi from the shoulder to the fingers, out to the hand. Now, the key point is set the shoulders and sink the elbows. If you don't set the shoulder correctly, you cannot mobilize the chi and you are stuck with external force or li. So if you stand up and just stand strong and give me something, right? So if, if I want to move Fabio and I have my shoulder incorrect, uh, without setting my shoulder and mobilizing the chi, it's impossible to move him in my position, which is at a disadvantage. You cannot do it. Doesn't matter how hard I try, cannot do it. When I mobilize the chi, the information transfer occurs. So when I set my shoulder via sung, the chi moves through the shoulder. I release through to sink the elbow, it moves through the elbow. I sung out to the hand and I have my chi in my opponent's body. I mobilize the chi to capture him, we call information transfer. Then it's very easy. It belongs to me at that point. From external force, no matter how hard I try, or I just song, and I can control. He touches here, touch. If I don't set my shoulder, I get ah, the force, he's strong, cannot move him. He's going to push me around. But if I song and set the shoulder, very simple. No matter how he touches, I just release the shoulders. The second my shoulders are not released, the chi cannot come out. It's stuck in my shoulder. Now traveling the world and meeting with Tai Chi Chuan people, almost nobody can get past their shoulder because they cannot open the shoulder, set the shoulder, sung the shoulder. So they want to use Dante and power, ground force, all this fancy stuff. But in the end, they just have to use their stupid force with their five kilogram arm because you can't get past the dam in your shoulder. You can't get past it because you don't know how to set the shoulder. Setting the shoulder must be generated via soul. When I set the shoulder, the chi comes out. If I use force, uh, impossible, impossible. Instead, I saw Release the shoulder so the chi can flow from shoulder to hand. So when we do the song gong, we're releasing song. Song is how you move the chi. Release the shoulder, elbow, wrist, finger. Mobilize the chi from the shoulders to the fingers. Do not just do a warm up. Put the e inside and song. Intention and ting, knowing and commanding, releasing, songing and moving. Becoming aware of what you're doing, not mindless, stupid movement. Really, it's the worst exercise in the world, doing this. So stupid. You're much better off doing aerobics, swimming, riding a bicycle, or doing anything else. 
Without the internal, Tai Chi Chuan is the worst exercise in the world. With the internal, it is a profound gift. Okay? You must have the insights. You must stay present inside. What does internal mean? Inside. That's all it means. It doesn't mean Taoist. It doesn't mean Chinese. It doesn't mean spiritual. It means inside. Pretty simple, the word internal, what it means. Stay inside. Work the insights. Get inside. Feel the soul, feel the chi movement, mobilize the chi. Okay, up again, really focusing on the harmonies. 